So now let's look at using a command along with graphics card 2. Now the command we're going to use is called splash. So splash really means your background. So it's kind of like a putting a background on your screen. Now I will show you this using the assembler again. So what we can do is we can run up the example here. It's called splash. And this is the code for it here. So in this splash command, we write splash, and then we have to write the memory mapped I.O. address. And for this device, it's FFF4. And remember to put the zero cross in front of it to tell it's a hex. And then we can put the end command. So I've already ran this through the assembler, and I can load it up into the CPU. So we go edit contents, open, close window, and I'll run this for you just now. Now you see it appearing here. Again, because I'm recording it, it makes it a little bit slower. So it does actually load a little bit faster than this. So this is just one image. And I've got lots of images there that you can try out and you can load up. But in the next video, I'll show you how to go and get an image of the right size and put it in the right format in order to load it up into the ROM in Graphics Card 2 so that you can get this uh, whatever image you would like. So you can see that in this instance here, we're just counting through all of the values here and we're just using the system clock to run through all of them. And when it's finished, this value here will go high and it will stop doing, uh, it will prevent the graphics card to having access to the bus. And you can see the image appearing here now. So it's quite an interesting thing to do to again and have a look at the CPU working at full speed. If I go in and put the is it full speed here. All right, there's not a lot going to be happening here at the moment because the CPU, all that's happening at the moment is the clock's running within this um, graphics card. So that's that image just about finished now. So let's go ahead in the next video and I will show you the Python code in order to generate the image in the right format and save it into the CD ROM, see the, into the ROM in the graphics card too. So thank you for listening to this video. I will get you on the next video. Goodbye.